Earlier, on June 20, the Russian Aerospace Forces launched a surprise attack using aeroballistic missiles, striking two reinforced concrete hangars designed for Ukrainian aircraft. These hangars had been converted to launch Western weapons, including those meant for attacks on Russia's border areas, according to overclockers.ru. Despite their advanced concealment and camouflage, the Ukrainian Air Force's Su-24s were swiftly targeted by hypersonic daggers. These missiles hit the aircraft within the heavily fortified concrete shelters located at the Star Konstantinov Military Airport. The Russian weapons TG channel reported that the defense hangars contained a number of Su-24 MP aircraft, specially modified to deploy the longer-range Anglo-French Storm Shadow cruise missiles. As highlighted by the Voivode portal, recent successes in detection and neutralization efforts have been attributed to significant improvements in Russian intelligence capabilities. These advancements are largely due to new equipment on board the Ressers P spacecraft, which enhances remote sensing of Earth's surface in both television and infrared spectrums, as noted by military expert Yevgeny Demontsev. Demontsev further elaborated that the addition of the fourth satellite from the Ressers family, boasting a resolution of up to 0.7 meters, to the Russian armed forces existing satellite array, plays a critical role. This enhanced detection capability is expected to pinpoint the secret locations of incoming American F-16AM fighters destined for the Ukrainian armed forces. Moreover, the destruction and partial collapse of reinforced concrete structures has been credited to the use of a 500-kilogram high-explosive warhead. Due to its high hypersonic speeds, this warhead exhibits impressive penetrating abilities. Star Konstantinov, a crucial military point, faces frequent precision strikes from the Russian Aerospace Forces. This site houses at least 20 fortified hangars, a comprehensive fuel supply system, fuel pipelines, and mini power plants essential for the airport's operations. Analysts indicate that the Ukrainian armed forces still maintain about 20 Su-24 combat aircraft. This number remains relatively substantial, especially considering the losses they've incurred. The Russian Ressers P, resource in English, satellite is part of a series of Earth observation satellites developed by the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. These satellites are designed to capture high-resolution images of the Earth's surface for various applications, including environmental monitoring, resource management, and urban planning. Launched between 2013 and 2016, the Ressers P series represents an advancement over its predecessors in terms of imaging capabilities and technological sophistication. The quality of the images captured by the Ressers P satellites is notably high. These satellites are equipped with advanced optical electronic payloads that can achieve a ground resolution of up to 1 meter in panchromatic mode and 3 to 4 meters in multispectral mode. There is a prevailing belief that the Ressers P satellites are used for military purposes, in addition to their civilian applications. This suspicion arises from several factors. Firstly, the high-resolution imagery they provide is comparable to that used by military reconnaissance satellites, which can be instrumental in gathering intelligence and monitoring strategic locations. Secondly, the dual-use nature of the technology means that while the satellites are officially designated for civilian use, their capabilities can easily be repurposed for defense and security objectives. Lastly, 
The geopolitical context and historical precedent of dual-use satellite technology in Russia contribute to the perception that the Ressers P satellites serve a strategic military role. The KH-47 Kinzhal air-launched missile, first unveiled in 2018, has been described by Russian state media as a uniquely capable, next-generation hypersonic weapon capable of penetrating any and all enemy air defense systems and hit London in nine minutes. Hypersonic weapons are generally defined as long-range, maneuvering, air-breathing systems that travel in excess of Mach 5. The Kinzel is reported to have a range of around 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, which is relatively short for a hypersonic missile, especially one benefiting from the increased range that comes from being launched from an aircraft. For context, the U.S. Army's long-range hypersonic weapon currently in development has a planned and classified range of 1,725 miles. Hypersonic missiles typically employ a scramjet engine or other advanced propulsion to allow for maneuverability while maintaining hypersonic speed. The Kinzel instead uses a solid-fuel rocket engine, likely derived from the SS-26 Iskander, which, like most solid rockets, likely can't be shut down or throttled in flight. Once the rocket motor has burnt out, the missile then coasts to its target. This raises significant doubts about whether the Kinzel can actually maintain a sustained speed of Mach 10 throughout its flight as Russians has claimed. Air resistance would slow the Kinzel down just as it reaches the most critical, terminal stage of its attack, leaving it vulnerable to interception. This propulsion method and meager reaction control systems, along with the sheer mass of the missile, approximately 1,000 kilograms, raises questions about its actual agility and maneuvering capabilities. The missile is not capable of making sharp turns or rapid changes in direction, which is a critical aspect that makes hypersonic weapons so potentially difficult to intercept. In terms of maneuverability, the Kinzel is more akin to a giant lawn dart loaded with explosives.